Hello Wanderers, welcome back to our Crusader Kings 3 roleplay series following Ariadne of Crete. We pick things back up a couple of months, just three or four, after the events of the previous episode. So obviously, you'll remember at the end of that episode that the rebel Duke Hectorios of Thessalonica was murdered in a very timely fashion as his rebellion was gaining some momentum. So his son has taken over and has maybe not bent the knee, but the rebellion is ended uh, with the lack of leadership here from Duke Hectorios. So they, they have disbanded. We'll see what kind of punishments may await, but that is what it is. We have been trying to go after Optimatoi to finish them off, but you'll see that this Norseman army that had been coming in here has finished sieging down Crimea, and now they are going after Constantinople itself, which is pretty concerning. They've got quite a bit of troops, 7,000 troops here, and they've got a little bit of an advantage. Not only that, but we're also being attacked by Emir Musa here, and he is coming into the empire from the east and trying to take advantage while we are weakened, so... We're dealing with these internal threats pretty good, but now we have these external threats. And obviously this is, you know, our mother's responsibility, but we obviously we're going to be trying to assist as much as we can. Now, there are a few things to take care of before we get time running. Uh, number one, we have been invited to join a hunt. We're going to do that, I believe. We're currently not fighting with the army, so, you know, I think that this was probably fine. It looks like there's going to be some sea dangers. So if we hire some experienced captains, we should be fine. And yeah, we've got six in our entourage. Obviously, Xenon Sortes is coming. We've got Alexander Pritanis because he is our caravan master. Uh, so we should be we should be okay here. Let's join the hunt. Uh. Our sister, I have noticed that our sister here, uh, let's see, yes, Zenobia, she can marry. We obviously want to get a matrilineal marriage because we don't have any children yet, and it is possible that we could die. So we want to get a strong alliance, and I did notice here the son of the Queen of Nubia, the son of Queen Erotatukunilki, yeah, that was a rough one. Uh, the Spear of Sanar here is of the house El Alela. His or her son, who is going to be inheriting stuff, will potentially take a matrilineal marriage. So would you look at that? That's going to give us an alliance with Nubia, which as you can see is extremely powerful. 7,000 troops, and they are conveniently located right on the other side of the house of ali and i mean you guys can put two and two together this is an extremely advantageous marriage we are obviously going to do so our betrothed prince akakios the adopted son of emperor Bas uh aristarchus here is we can marry him but we we have a little bit of time before we do that i'd like to wrap a few things up before we do because we have a we have to host a grand wedding for it so my acquaintance, Duke Raphael, is hosting a hunt in a Oh, we are going to... We're going to go and try to... Oh, man, there's a lot of forces marching around here. But anyways, the betrothal hasn't gone through. Hopefully, the war score will get pretty high up once we get the siege here. But there's a lot of enemy forces just kind of going around everywhere here. So we're going to... You know, well, who are you guys from? This is forces from Count Potios of Caliopolis. He is going up. Oh, did another war for Bosporios's claim. Oh, 10,000 troops. Oh, boy. Okay. Jeez, our mother's really having a struggle of it here. Well, 10,000 troops, eh? Being led by Duke Ignatius. Who is this Bosporios? Anyways, who's their claimant? Uh, let us see. I think we see Bosporios Macedon. 
here. He is the grandson of Bel uh, Aristarchus, Basileus Aristarchus here. The son of Prince Pavlos, so ugh, pretty weak, tenuous claim, but they're they're calling it in, so things are definitely getting a little difficult here. I wonder if we can who ah, I mean capturing their leader probably gonna be the best possibility we have, but I don't know if we'll find much success in that. We should probably get called into some of these wars here. I think we need to assist our mother. Unfortunately, she hasn't had a chance to get married or make any other allies due to the fact that she's been at war this whole time. We are going to offer to join war, so we're going to join the Bosphorius's claim. I'm not too concerned about the other ones, so... Uh, I think we're still going to participate in the hunt. We'll let uh, Hel Helios manage the war for now, but... In any case... Hmm... My friend's enemies, events conspire against my hostage, Duke Hepatius' daughter, Gregoria. Though I took her into my court with honorable intentions, I have other obligations to uphold in Basilisa Pelagia's claim war. This is Duke Hepatius's daughter. He is... Okay. Peace with Epirus was my aim, but there's no longer anything to be done. Mercy might make maintain a degree of trust, but then, again, all is fair in times of war. Situation is... Not, we could kill her. No, obviously we're not going to kill her. Uh, she is our cousin, so we won't we won't be murdering her, but we'll keep her as a hostage, that's for sure. Let's see if we can engage the forces of Heliopolis here in battle. Who's who is leading the the war? It is yeah, I guess it's the Duchy of Stearmon. Okay. There is a chance that we could potentially capture him in battle or something along those lines. That's probably our best hope of a victory here, unless we can somehow whittle them down. But Oh, all right. Let's see. Renowned our oh, court. Oh, okay. Well, some of our court artifacts are going to get destroyed just because there's a lot of hunting, like hides and things like that. We did some of the enemy armies here. An attempt on my life when suddenly a flaming arrow soars across the sky towards me. It misses the boat by a hair's breadth, and as I lean down I, uh, and see it fizzle out in the cold ocean, I catch the distinct smell coming from the wood of the boat. Greek fire. This was an attempt on my life. This was undoubtedly the work of that worthless scullion Epiphania. I will make her regret this. So we get watchful for two years. Uh, okay, and so she tried to murder us, okay? Let's see, invite to court. We could use the hook, we could force her to come and... and basically fess up to her crimes, so... There we go, she has arrived at our court. Can we imprison her? She is a known criminal. We will not succeed, though. Why is there such a low chance? Her opinion of us, personality, she's your rival. Hmm. I mean, there's no chance that she would uh, accept it, but let's see. I mean, is keeping in her uh, us or her in our court the better option? You know what? Oof. Fifty stress because we are just. Who's our spy master? Such as Kira. She is arbitrary. She is cynical. Oh, wow. Somehow she is five Erudite Oracle. I did not know you could get to level five. That is interesting. I must, which one is that from? Which DLC is that from? Well, I want to get, uh, I would like to get to be a level five Marshal Commander. That would be awesome. Uh, you know what? Somebody made an attempt on our life. I think that that it, it is reasonable for us to, you know, accept it when our spy master says that we should simply do away with her. So we're gonna take that little bit of a little bit of stress, but uh, it is what it is. We can't just let ourselves be murdered, obviously. So we are going to prevent that murder from happening. 
Alright, so... Hunt, alright. We'll just kind of let the hunt play out as it... As it is here, if anything interesting happens, it should pop up, so... Oh, okay. Looks like the Norsemen forces have split off a little bit here into a couple different different factions. Maybe if we're lucky, all the different factions. Oh, she's this. Oh my god, there's too too many things here to for our mother to to manage. I think she's gonna have a really difficult time holding on to power. Uh the hunters are assembled. Let's get out and go and do some hunting. So we should be, you know, what? it'll be nice because we'll probably be able to take over this siege and optimatoy. Two Raphael's game masters. This is a funny looking guy. Look at him with his glasses and his little leaf hat. That is very amusing. There's a clear sight line to a flock of white geese. Let us go. It is time here. We're just doing recreation. Maybe we'll get lucky and get some stress reducing events. Norseman army here is going to be defeated. I watch excitedly as my falcon identifies the target and takes from takes wing from its watch after uh, the game has all but disappeared. The hunt has failed. That's unfortunate. There we go. So we get to take over this siege, potentially taking the capital of, of Optimetoi, and probably nearly ending that war, I'm sure. War has ended for now. We've lost a little bit of stress, and we gained a Detroit Hunter, so... Not too bad. I mean, there's nothing wrong with getting the hunter trait uh, and potentially developing it up over time. And yeah, you know what? I think we can probably. I think this is maybe the moment. Oh no, we are we are otherwise occupied. I was gonna say the moment where we take over a siege and show our siege chops. I don't think we need battles. We've seen many battles. We'll look at the most important ones. But we get a claim on the Duchy of Mesopotamia. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Huh. I mean, could it be worth it? Where is the Duchy of Mesopotamia? Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, it's way over here. That's pretty far away from our lands. I'm not too concerned about getting a, a fabricated claim on there. It's nice to see a Hellenic ruler ruling it though. Derelict ship. Um, There's nothing but death that way. We know what happens on the sea. We're not taking any chances. Our family has not had any luck with that. Our liege has won their war with Jarl Alvor. Ah, so somehow we won. The Norseman war was ended? I wonder what happened there. He must have died. The Norseman meter, leader must have died in that battle. All right, so things... I mean, we're surviving somehow in this. Our mother's surviving anyways. We'll be fine no matter what. But our mother is in the, 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 the most difficult position she can be at the moment. Her forces are weakening. She has no allies with which to call upon, except for us, and we are helping out as much as we can. And she's got some powerful enemies to deal with. Luckily, they are whittling themselves down, and we are going to do our best to keep our strength up. Let's go with Engineered for Destruction and get that Siege Weapon effectiveness up so we can continue to siege down these places faster. We are going to need to switch over our Siege Weapons to a Manganels because we do have that uh, development now, so we will be able to get that, but we won't do that till after this war here. So, murder, the murder scheme's going fine. Oh, we've gained 200 a martial lifestyle experience. Excellent, thanks Zeus, I can go inside again. There we go, a nice little boost, that's gonna get us another, another martial lifestyle trait fairly quickly here. And we've gained learning lifestyle experience too. And we've, oh, and stewardship, there we go. Excellent, good to see. We can do some other things. We are going to go on a grand tour, but I'd love to go on a grand tour once the war is done. It just feels a little weird to be going on, on a big tour when there's just war in your realm. Seems dangerous too. A little more risky than I would like. 
Our mother seems to be focusing right now on dealing with the Duchy of Sabathea, which is fine. We can deal with Optimatoi for her, and then we can both focus our efforts here on the forces of Stearmon and their allies. Somebody's got an inspiration to write a book about alternative sexual desires. He is very competent at his craft. I mean, we're a cultured place. Why not sponsor this? Uh, no, it doesn't seem to let us. Well, it's unfortunate that, uh, you know, we won't be on the leading edge of such things. Ah, excellent. Fresh quail, my favorite. Auntie Patra bellows merrily, gorging herself as the servant desperately steadies the serving tray. Oh, my beloved saffron cake, you are truly delectable, Theodosia says with a singing voice. Now, this is what life is all about. Servants, more violent sherba. Now, Sinon demand. It would appear my courtiers are enjoying themselves. Save some drink for me, Sinon. Theodosia, my friend. Oh, we could, so we can get a uh, friendship, potentially, with one of these characters. Uh, Antipatra, probably no, but I think it would make sense for us to... Oh, but we gain 50 stress because we're temperate. No, well, we are temperate, but 25 stress because we're fickle. I would say that we're going to go eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I should let them be. There we go. So our temperate nature wins over in the end. So we've returned home. Yeah, okay, we can't really do, do anything in our court. We can potentially pay homage, petition the liege. We should probably go and pay homage to our mother's court. Could bestow her with some gold. That might help her out, honestly. Uh, let's start traveling. We should be safe. So we will we'll most likely be fine here, hopefully. Out here, I feel like I'm truly free. Call of the road. We gain the trait traveler. Court grand your level is at nine. Very grand court. Oh, let's see what happened here. Oh, yeah, okay, just people joining our scheme. This young man is going to hopefully learn... Oh, he's already speak Greek, so... Okay, he's a step ahead already. Very good. Travel, fish in the sea. I've heard it said that Egyptian fishermen are famed the world over for their ability to strip the ocean of its most bountiful and delicious plunder. Today, by the shores of Farama, I am fortunate enough to come across an Egyptian fishing fleet. Our entourage sails close to a stray member of the fleet, and I am greeted immediately by the pungent odor of its captain. In honor, me lady, can I interest ye in our finest catches of the day? We shall eat well tonight. Well, fed travelers, travel speed increases. Not today. We would lose stress because we are temperate. So, no thank you. Duke Thomas might join the war for Bisporius' claim as an enemy. Duke. Thomas, oh, after the death of his father, he might join in. Oh, that would be, that would be rough. I wouldn't be surprised if he does. But yeah, we shall see. We've won the siege of Nicomedia. They're almost fully sieged down and dealt with. So let's go and just get Nikea. And we should have Optimatoi finished off. We're at Trinkets. The seats around here are thick with Greek traders. We've got a maritime trading book. Alas, I cannot justify such reckless spending. 120? No, that's not worth it. Not worth that amount of money. So we shall... Oh, there we go. Okay, our mother's doing doing okay. She's sieging down, at, she's sieging down Edessa. So if they can just get a few more sieges there, we probably... Well, actually, I mean, I feel like if we can just focus everything onto this war, I feel like we've got a chance to win it. We've got more money to spend. I mean, we have to do our wedding soon, honestly. How many, how much longer do we have before, before that? Should we start planning our wedding now? It always takes some time, so you know what? Maybe we should. Let's plan the wedding. I know it sucks that we have to do this during the war. But let's take out the we don't need the captain, so we're not gonna spend anything on that. I think that this level of everything should be fine. I don't want to spend more money than we have to. Do we go for diplomacy? Do we try to look for a diplomatic target here? 
We could gain an alliance with somebody, perhaps, such as the king of Zaporgia. That would potentially be helpful. That is very strong. You know what? If he's going to come, let us try to strike an alliance there, because that could end up being very helpful to us. Obviously, our spouse is going to be coming, Prince Akakios, so he will certainly be there. Customize route. Uh, start grand winning. I am trapped. Oh, we're busy paying on money. Okay, so we're going to do that as soon as we get back home, providing we do get back home. Let us, and you know what? Maybe by then, this one of the sieges will be done. Ah, here, we've gained two, 600 lifestyle stewardship lifestyle experience. That's awesome. Price of fealty. So we've been ushered into the room. We pay up our 120 to our mother. That is going to, hey, you know, help her out a little bit. Maybe she can hire some more mercenaries. We've gained some more learning lifestyle experience. That is good to see. Obviously, our mother, no doubt, accepted our homage very, very well. We've gained a level of fame. We are now ex illustrious. So that is pretty good. People are starting to learn to respect us. We're 20 years old now, so we're not, you know, just a whippersnapper. We're gaining some respect, and we've got plenty of troops here. Mercenary contract is expiring, though, so uh, it is what it is. Do we extend it? 514? Is it more expensive to... Ah, you know what? We might end up switching over to the Farafa band. It is. They are cheaper and they've got more troops. So let's, we'll probably let that ex extend and, or we won't extend it anyways. And we're going to hire these guys here to come in and assist our armies. We have to keep our mother on the throne. That is extremely important. Uh, it's the only chance that we have in, of inheriting the throne is potentially getting it oh, from our mother or from our brother. He doesn't look at him. He's fickle, zealous, lustful, spindly. This is, this is not a man who should be on the throne. No, indeed not. There we go. Our mother will have won this war here. We might actually be able to sneak in and go and take some of the enemy forces there. Perfect, look at that. Liege won the war with Duke Sassinius. And what has happened here? Okay. Oh, those forces have, have separated now. All right, so where we have arrived back home. So now we can start planning our wedding. Let us do so. We have the money for it, we should be fine. Not too worried about that. We're going to hold it in Alexandria, obviously. Get rid of the ship captains, because we don't need him. Oh, and look. Ah, he's got a good beard on him. He's a little ill. Hopefully he'll recover before he dies, anyways. Uh, let's see. Diplomacy. Let us go for, indeed, Zaporgia. And start grand wedding. Oh, we got, there we go. Now we can do it. So the grand wedding has started. Guests from all over the realm will be coming to join us. And we, oh, assassin, the time has come. My agents are in place. One of them will pay the assassin the very night the deed will happen. Do it. Yeah, 11% chance she's killed. What? Things have changed. Oh, because she moved. Damn. It's too far away to interact with. Uh, I don't think we want to. No, we got to cancel this. Damn. You have escaped me, but you can't outrun death. Well, hopefully she can't do a murder scheme on me when she's fled all the way to the Yamad Emirate. So in any case, let's gather up our forces here. Hmm. Oh, looks like they managed to hit our mother's forces. They got him in a battle. Damn. That is unfortunate. Let's bring our forces together here. Helios still kicking. 65 years old and still... Well, he's no longer, you know, one of the greatest warriors, but he is one of the greatest commanders. 
Should we just go and try to take Stearmon? Capture their capital? I mean, might be our best chance, frankly. So I had to pull back. I see that they are getting in their ships. I'm a little bit concerned about where they're going. Uh, let's see. What ha I mean, would we be able to defeat them if we could gather up all their troops? I'd love for our mother to finish off this war. End it in a white piece or, or something. But, yeah, I mean, what's the other option? This is the claim for Bosporius' claim. Bosporius Macedon. Can he, can he be killed? I mean, it doesn't seem, doesn't seem so. Uh, I don't know if that's bugged out or for some reason or not, but. Okay, where are you going? Do we try to go? All right, maybe we can go and actually move up here and then boom, go down so we can avoid those casualties. They're sieging, they're sieging something down here too. But yeah, if we can get Steermon, that would probably be the best option. A lot of factions here, my God. Our mother is in real trouble. She's still got plenty of troops though. Must have bought some mercenaries there. She's got the Holy Order. She just needs a chance to actually go and... Ah, damn. Looks like we have our own rebellion, a populist uprising with a lot of troops. Ouch, you join the Bedouin Ashari uprising as a defender. The blaring war horns have reached me even here in Alexandria. Um... I can manage things from here. We'll continue with the Grand Wedding. Uh, it, it seems like now we're going to have to go and pull our troops out and get them here to defend our own lands, though. So we want to head into Alexandria. So things are getting, uh, getting pretty dicey here. It's going to be difficult. I don't know if we're going to be able to keep our mother on the throne. Theoretically, we just need to keep her on the throne until she dies, because then we'll inherit the claim on the empire. But I assume we're going to inherit a claim on the empire because of her Hellenic faith. Uh, but we shall see. So we're going to spend the money. We're going to get our troops in here. Oh, and we're being called... In the War of Tyranny, well, uh, well, I guess we'll assist War. Yeah, I think we can manage things from here, though. That should be should be okay. We can probably, ah, you know what? We probably could have called Nubia in, but they do have to deal with their their own fights, though. Learn language success. We learned Slavonic. Now we should probably learn the Sudanic language. I'm guessing. Oh, seems like things are bugging out a little bit. We'll probably. Hopefully be fixed with a with a save and a reload, but we're going to take care of that uh, shortly after. The grand wedding ceremony starts here. It always feels amazing when you have been planning something for so long and spend so much money on it. And finally it's there. Everything is ready. The decorations are in place. The guests are mingling. The servants scurry around with loaded dishes. I am pacing around in excitement and nervousness when my future spouse, Akakios, appears, radiant in his finest attire ready to begin so yeah he's looking dapper recovered from his illness so that is good we've learned a new martial lifestyle perk we're gonna go with living off the land get that travel safety up uh you know we have a lot of problems with traveling in our family so best to best to keep that up Let's see, everyone is excited and amazed by the magnificence of the wedding, everybody except for High Priest Athanasia. Since her arrival, she has been complaining about everything. I'm ashamed of myself. Uh, let's see, yes, I'm going to enjoy it too. Oh, we don't want the recreation intent. Uh, but, you know, maybe we'll... Guards accompany... No, let's see, are we ashamed of ourselves? You know what, we are, because we are temperate. So, I think that is fitting there. I would like to switch from... I'd like to switch for diplomacy. Uh, let's see. Uh, it doesn't seem like we have the option to 
sway over who we wanted, but we could probably sway over somebody who might be relatively useful to our cause. Perhaps, let's see, Raphael of Cephalonia. You know what? We had we had a good time at his hunt. Let's see if we can maybe get an alliance with him here. There we go. I pity your acquaintance. I pity you, acquaintance. Cranfell tells me what married life is like. Full of bickering, mistrust, and strife, like me and Irene. Now, Akakios is perfect. Don't worry, I'll have my hobbies. Indeed, we will have our hobbies. Uh, I think, uh, I think that we will. Mostly war, so. You're confident your lifestyle will stay the same. There we go, we are a confident bride. Yep, not too worried about this at all. The preparation and rituals of the wedding ceremony are many a lull in between. I hear some snickering. I'll prove you wrong. When they see, hmm, how would we let this vile miscreant corrupt for a cockios? Oh, okay. Uh, Princess Euphemia, not not a fan. I will prove you wrong. We could try to make a good impression on her. Yeah, let's try it. 81% chance. And she likes us more now. So, you know what? We might actually develop a, a friendship with her. How close are our troops? They are, they are returning home, so shouldn't be too long now. We're going to have to deal with the enemy forces. Where are you landing? Way over here. And then they've got some sieging going down. You know what, the biggest army is down here, but if we can take... Huh. They just disappeared. All right, let's go. Let's go down here to deal with the, the main threat. The Pope has bestowed a royal gift upon us, 150 coins. Well, thank you, Pope. As if organizing a wedding worthy of my family's stature wasn't enough, I also have to deal with the Kakios' relatives. Ugh, the Macadon family. They're a little bit of uh, bothersome, but we can find some common ground. I don't see you paying for anything, so shut up. Yeah, Euphemia. Shut up. Because we're fickle. And we're just going to pick whichever one we want to in the moment as long as it fits with the rest of our trade so my head throbs with the noise of clattering furniture and chattering guests the strain must show because my sister Zenobia takes my arm and steers me towards the next room the sound of preparations die away we speak of small things times past people we've known not a word about the wedding then we run out of words and fall silent. there we go tell Zenobia how much it means we could get go bro closer to forming a friendship with her with our sister why not we're family oriented the ceremony went on a blur. I can barely remember all the steps, rituals, and blessings I went through, and now it's time for our vows, the formal consent. The actual seal on marriage. Do I want to spend my life with the Kakios? Well, we don't necessarily, really. We're not attracted to him or anything like that, but uh, we I think we can accept this. He seems like a reasonable guy. As the ceremony concludes, we all move to the banquet venue. I smile secretly to myself, picturing the joys to come from my married life with Akakia, so I guess we're... I mean, yeah, so we think he's likable. And he is. He is a likable person. Very well. Enjoy. So, you know, we might not be really into him. Uh, you know, we might not be attracted to our husband. Uh, you know, we're more uh, interested in women, but we, you know, that doesn't mean we can't be friends. So, I that is that is a nice nice little sign there, you know. Obviously, you would like to be friends with your spouse. So. Things are going well there. As the banquet goes on, I find myself thinking it a bit underwhelming. Uh, let's see. How else can I honor? I must hurry. Tell my servants to start at once. Maybe we could. Hmm. The risk is too big. Let's see. No, I mean we are fickle. It will help you gain gain renown, but a sharp guest may feel suspicious. Uh, how dare, and somebody has discovered it, so let's see, no point keeping up the illusion anymore. Now, of course, we're we're going to call him out on it. How dare you doubt me in my day of the feast? He reluctantly believes us, so we got lucky there. There's always somebody at the feast. This time it's Avanthia. She's desperately trying to get me to invest some of my ample resources. Gently exit the conversation. You know what, let's, uh, oh, 60% chance we gain a lifestyle perk. Let's try that. Never ends. I don't know if we did or not, but... 
Featuring exotic treats, elaborate culinary artworks, and rich colors with richer scents, the banquet chefs have gone all out. Now both ecumenical patriarch Dragchan and Emir Ahmed share their opinions about it. I picked the main... Oh yeah, you know what? Let's try to... No, not along without paying attention. Yeah, indeed. Doesn't seem like we can get the recreation. That's fine. Is there anybody we can seduce at the wedding? Uh, Mayor Viviana? Eh, no, nah, should have. I don't think she's of any particular interest to us. So... Magnificent, magnificent throng of musicians, tumblers, and actors provide the evening's entertainment. And we can gain some lifestyle learning experience. You know what? Let's uh, let's go. Let's do that. So we might have a bunch more friends after all of this, potentially. Here. Look at this. Yeah, we're getting a lot of friends. I should... No, I know I should be spending time with my new husband, Akakios, but I just can't tear myself from my friend Euphemia. Yeah, not surprising that we would be wanting to spend more time with the young princess here than with our husband, but... Uh, what a joy to have Euphemia here with me. She becomes our best friend. There we go. Husband's not a big fan of that, but, you know, it is what it is. We now have a, we now have a best friend who we probably have a crush on. I've been hosting your chancellor. Good. Where's our troops? Get Troops are getting close here. I think that we'll still be able to win this fight. Uh, we could get friends with the ecumenical patriarch. I'm actually... I actually like that option. Because getting the Pope or the ecumen... The patriarch, anyways, on our side would be very useful. Uh-oh, it's time for the bedchamber. Oh, dear. Well... It is what it is. As the banquet reached its climax, Akakios' growing anxiety over the imminent bedding ceremony was clear. Uh, please, can't we do this without... Yeah, you know what? Let's have the room to ourselves. I think we're going to do this. We all, we usually choose this option, but I think if our husband is uh, going to say this, then I don't think we have any interest in having this known to people anyways here. So yeah, let's uh, let's do that. Oh, we might actually be able to... We become the owner of a wooden tankard. Fire's grown, started to wither Ariadne. I've saved this since I've heard of our betrothal, and now I give it to you as a token of our love. Well, grant us. Oh, we could gain a marriage prayer brooch. Hmm. And your marriage is to produce many children. I shall have something for you, too. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, and we could. <laughs> and your marriage will become incredibly fertile. You are my greatest gift. I don't think we're going to romance him, so maybe... You know what? Maybe we give him the adorned Lombre figure. I think this is just like an awkward exchange of gifts here, so... Uh, you know. Uh, we're just... We don't know what we're doing here. Uh, oh, yawn. I'm suddenly sleepy. We could insult our husband. I think I'll need more wine for this. Um... Yeah, you know what? I think so we. I think we're just. This is fitting for our character. I think uh, we we suddenly feel just a little too sleepy. I think our nerves got to us, and then, damn. Well, we didn't manage to to get them before the siege, but so so it is. We've gained a level of devotion, and the wedding is done. So there we go. Finish the grand wedding. Lots of prestige, lots of bonuses here. The battle here for our lands continues, but it will continue in the next episode. Until then, thank you for watching.